Hello everybody, welcome to the play-ins. We've got Hiru with dwarves versus Necronome with lizards. And we have an instant removal there. So just a KO. Doesn't app all the KO, interestingly. He did app all the KO last time. I guess this time he thinks, you know, the mighty blow and the slayers and stuff. He might... Uh... But it's really early, isn't it? Really early KO. Might might have been right to app all that. It's so hard to decide whether to app all or not. But, uh, four, five. Also, oh, he's not gone six block. He's gone a guard Crocs. And then Hiru's gone block, blocked up runner. And uh, four Gardener Mighty, and two Slayers, only one runner. I think it's only one runner. Not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad. Yeah, I don't like only one runner. Like it's just pretty bad to have that single point of failure, isn't it? Yeah, there was the officious ref, yeah. Yeah, and you know, like obviously I got some luck making so many KOs and stuff, right? And the the officious refs and all that, you know, like it wasn't, it wasn't totally one side or anything. Do you know what I mean? But it was just, it was just that initial, that initial pitch invasion was an absolute drive killer. I like an absolute drive killer. Yeah, he would have just he would have just scored. He would, I would have just lost. Yeah, so yeah, that was pretty huge. That was pretty huge, wasn't it? That uh, it stopped him just scoring on the two turn. But then you know you made up for it by just scoring on the other two turns, no re rolls. Maybe I could have tried to target the thrower more to stop his two turn. <laughs> Still waiting for Eliod Fymir, I'm sure. I nearly ran out of time to set up on defense because I just I just walked away and I was not happy. Maybe I should, you know, like, I thought about standing that guy up as well who was near the catcher. I thought, oh, I should stand... Like, I stood the other two up instantly, marking the throw, and I thought, do you know what? I should really fucking stand this other guy up and mark the catcher. And I literally thought that and then just didn't do it. God damn it. Yeah, I like this blitzing and the extra, like, follow-up hit. Potential follow-up hit. It's a little bit tricky for Necronome without the, uh, you know, Downosaurus. Downosaurus isn't great. Maybe you should have appled that. It's really tough, though, isn't it? Really tough call. Yeah. I could have played safer, but the question is, was safer better? Because I was, you know, I was willing to... Like, the thing is, after that GFI, I was going to move the ball. And then, I was going to, like, you know, make it safe. And then it would have just been, like, do I make GFIs with these guys on the ground to do, you know, to... Because I still wanted to score. Like, I still wanted to score myself, right? So maybe that guy on the ground who could have just tagged the catcher, maybe he could have done a double GFI and tagged somebody else who was going to be more responsive or whatever. So, but I think I should have just... I think I should have just uh, tagged the catcher. That was the. Like I meant to. It's really annoying that I meant to and then just didn't. 
because realistically you just get the cage and nothing else but make them in case of but, you know obviously you can't really worry about one in 36s can you like even if I'd stood that guy up and moved somebody else first it would probably still be pretty bad but maybe I got our nil nil but then if it's nil nil he dackers and then if he dackers maybe he just wins one nil so Hard to say, isn't it? Hard to say. There's a reroll gone. Hello, Pedro. Oh, surf. Surfy McSurfersons. Quite like this. Quite like this, because it, yeah, it's kind of risky, right? Kind of risky and high rolly, but you, you're dwarves against lizards, so you kind of have to. Because these are play ins. These are actually play ins. Probably. The actual playoffs are only 16 players. I will most likely not be one of them now. Sadly, but um, Chunter will be one, Art will be one, Elliot's about 50 50. Why is I'm down to about one in four? Bleh. This is the problem that you've got as dwarves versus lizards. You can do this. You can have a turn like this. And this is, you know, if I've done this against the Pro Elves, right? Like, if I do a turn like this, if you do a turn like this against Pro Elves, then you just lose the ball next turn. <laughs> you know, and, and he might lose it against lizards as well. It's a 3 plus for 2D on the ball. Like, fuck me. so hard. It's so hard for dwarves against lizards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could play me in the, uh, in the, in the two and o's versus two and ones. Yeah, there's a chance. <laughs> you can't play the elves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Diced in a game you didn't even take part in. <laughs> I mean, Necronom should have definitely stood these two up, right? Like again, with mine, with mine on the fucking catcher, I wasn't sure I was just going to base him, but I meant to and just didn't. Annoying. Good luck, all real ancestors. Oh, I think I think uh, Necronom should have done the three plus for the two D there. To be honest, I, like I guess it gets you Sora so surfed, but it's really good, isn't it? If it works, you've got skinks coming through here. Hello, Dimmy. Nothing much to hear, to be honest. You can come on if you want, but uh, no, I mean, I, it looked like I'd lost right after the pitch invasion. Pitch invasion was just a killer because it means that with the pros being so fast, with the pros being so fast. And, like, the only chance they've got is to, like, you know, do things. And, like, so I thought I've just got to be super safe and not let him break through. And then he didn't break through, so I was able to get the ball eventually. But, you know, couldn't get the penetration. Maybe I feel like I should have tagged. I meant to tag his fucking uh, 
I meant to tag his catcher and didn't. And then obviously double wand. And then uh, and obviously his offense, he, he, he went for the one turn, but he was going for the two turn, wasn't he? But he got the officious ref, which screwed him over. And then rolled like something that failed. And then... Uh, no, he didn't. No, he did. He, he didn't. He did, no, I don't think he did particularly fail, did he? Oh, he, he didn't break through, so then I just punched him and based him up, and then he did like a half cage that got hit, and then he did a he did a thing where he could have just done a block and dodged away, and he just didn't. He just blocked the ball carrier, which I thought was insane. Uh, I thought he threw that 100% through the game there, but then he got away with it because, uh, you know, even though I made it 1-1, he won the toss. Yeah. Yeah, the the like the thrower could have been like a cage corner, right? Yeah, I thought he was gonna make a full cage. I was thinking, oh my god, he's got the full cage here, and then he just didn't didn't do it, which was nice. And then, uh, but even after that, right when when the ball scattered to his line, I was like, oh shit, well, he's just this is just a two plus, and he's away. And didn't do it. He blocked with the ball. So I was. I was pretty happy with that. And then obviously over time he won the toss. Two turned. Can't really stop him right. I put in my two rerolls to try and stop him. Maybe I shouldn't have. And maybe I should have kept those two rerolls to try and score twice. It's really hard though isn't it? It's really hard to decide. Maybe I could have scored twice back if I'd had the rerolls. Even if I'd been over there I could have had four turns to turn him over. But I just thought, fuck it, I'm 50-50, aren't I? Not right now. And then I lost. I feel like he was much better than 50-50 at scoring his offence. So. With me out of re-rolls, anyway. So maybe I shouldn't have used re-rolls on defence. Maybe I shouldn't have used re But then, you know, I kind of had to, right? Because if I can just power his catcher and pick it up even, maybe, then then I can just win. So it was all a tough call. Maybe I should have still tried to uh, win. And the GFI, right? Like, once I've put the reroll in for the GFI, then I've almost got to put the reroll in for the dodge. So it's before the dodge, it's the GFI is the decision, or brush, if you like. That was the big decision, I think, and that's, that's what I thought. I thought, well, now that I'm you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, isn't it? See you, Timmy. Feel like this guy who's doing nothing should be here so he can blitz. And then this guy could have come round and made this a 2D as well. Crocs in here is really nice, isn't it? Okay, that's a pretty good move, actually. Oh my god, okay. Wow, Necronom rolling all of the dice. Yeah, that's a lovely spot for the Crocs, isn't it? The Dwarves have got a reverse back, but they're so slow that they can't do anything with a reverse back, so... Oh, I don't like moving him. I guess it's okay. He looks like he's going to get the stop anyway, doesn't it? Looks like he's going to get the stop here. Necronom. Yeah, I mean, nothing against Galentio, right? And he had some, he had some bad, uh, bad kickoff results as well. And obviously he got his team wrecked by Dwarves. But... Uh, 
fucking initial, the, just the initial fucking pitch invasion was so brutal. Fucking blood ball, man. It was like, this is how I lose. Do you know what I mean? That was my reaction, was like, this is how it's possible to lose this game. And so it proved to be, because if it had been, you know, if there hadn't been a three player stunned, then uh, I get a better LOS, pick up the ball, get a pal plow forward, get like three more turns of penetration, easy eight turn score. And then, you know, maybe he dackers, maybe he dackers and, and, and makes it a 1 1 draw, to be fair. And if I'd just not pushed enough for the score, maybe it would have been 0 0 and he would have dackered for the win, so. You'll never know. And just because his, his quick score failed doesn't mean that it would have uh, you know, usually failed, because his other quick score failed, so. A lot of dice, wasn't it? I thought I'd lost once. Uh... Oof. One deep, how disgusterous. I didn't expect to stop it, to come back from 1 0 down, right? He can just score and go win 2 0, or he can dack it. I didn't like my odds of dealing with either. So I basically resigned myself to losing at that point. The Dublay Skulls, last re roll. Maybe I should have rolled more dice in overtime. I just read really in fancy my chances of scoring two, including turning on, turning him over. Because like you'd be trying not, you wouldn't be trying to quick score then, would he? Right? If it, if I'd made it too too early and he only had four turns left, he just runs away. And he's movement eight, and I chase after him. Then he stands in the corner, and I just don't get him. So, nah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's right to try to put the rerolls in. We've got an easy two D on the ball here. If this guy hasn't just stood up, no, he hasn't. So we've just got an instant two D on the ball here. We've maybe got a counter score as well. Probably want to move this guy up here first, so that we've got him in range. Because this counter score is looking pretty tasty. Oh, I didn't see that dwarf. Then did he push him in there? Okay, well now we've, we've got Croc, Croc, Croc Blitz. <laughs> Let's go, Croc Blitz. Four. I really like moving this this skink into like scoring range. Oh my god, rerolls it fails, diced. Did this guy block him into the guy? I thought he was free. I thought he was free. Did he just block him into him? Did this guy block this guy into there? Because if he did, that was a bit shit. I thought he had a... I moved straight in. I guess there's the smallest chance for the dwarves now. No, I don't like this reroll. Do I not like that? I think he probably had to follow that skink there. As much as he didn't want to, I think he had to. Because it's just too easy now, isn't it? It's too easy to get through here. Like, it's not easy, but it's too easy. It would be harder if, uh, if there was a skink there in the way as well. 
It's definitely not easy with no rerolls. It can be both not easy and too easy at the same time. Probably should have blocked the other one to maybe get the guard free. Not sure that's very good. Maybe it is the way. Pretty funny. Doesn't follow. Doesn't follow, so his route is still blocked. Oh man, so he's just not he's not going out. I really liked going out this turn. That's why I would have had the skink in there, because I would have liked going around here and like tagging these guys off, but he's just trying to bludgeon his way forward still. This has gone really fast, hasn't it? This is like 20 minutes for a whole half. Slowing down a bit now. Where's the best square for the garden? in there. Maybe. I think he'd be better here, but I think it was a GFI. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, GFI there. I think that might have been better, but don't want a GFI do you with no rerolls. Don't want a GFI ever anyway. Never ever want a GFI. But you blitz the slayer, block the blitzer, block the f slayer, block the blitzer, knock all four of these players down. That's pretty strong, doesn't it? That's pretty hard for the uh, dwarves to do anything once all of these players. It could even surf the uh, blitzer as well. Nah, that's not. It's probably not optimal to surf the blitzer, I guess. But possibly. Yeah, my guard guy got stuck on the sideline because of the fucking pitch invasion. So he can dodge with that skin, can't he? Because uh, he's on two slayers. I just took the power. Is he going to uphill the ball? Blitz with that other Saurus to like just stand up that Saurus there? Because <laughs> this Saurus hasn't done anything. So it seemed weird to not stand it up. But the other Saurus down here could have like blitzed and then come back. That might have been an idea. But then standing him up kind of sucks. Oh, big AV break. Arm and armor 8. Armor 8 coming undone.
Hiru see the player. I've seen it, but I'm not going to risk giving advice to anybody. I think I know what the best play is, but we shall see. <laughs> oh, is this live? I mean, the better play is to get this guy down, right? And then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, two. But you do need to power him. So with no, but with no rerolls, I don't know if it's better to just blitz the skink and then do the four, three. You could hand off and then one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. That's also three, two, two. So if you push him, you can hand off to him. And then go one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Yeah, so so the blitzing this guy is the best. That's not it's probably just three two two or something in our end. It's probably three two two, whichever way you look at it. Oh well. Oh yeah, so he's blitzing, wait, so yeah, freeing him and then he blitzes with a slayer. So now he, that guarantees the power, yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? That's really nice, yeah, rather than blitzing him down that way, you blitz him out this way with Frenzy. So it's a 3-2-2 two, two to score. Really nice thought of blitz with the blitz with a slayer. Well, I guess he does need pushes on, on both of them. Could one in nine for disaster, nope. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice by Hiru. And he gets it. <laughs> bit, bit, bit sad. Great great call from an Aryan. <laughs> and a bit sad for Necronorm, I'm sure. But I feel like he was a little bit too timid. Um, in places there, he didn't jam enough in with the lizards and stuff. At various points, he could have gone. I'm sure he could have gone for a ball sack at some point, but he didn't. Um, who knows? Maybe I should just let him score and try score twice. Huh? Score in three, then turn him over in four. Could have fouled a bit. Had two re rolls. Ugh. Tough shot. Well, at least I haven't gone two or lose once and be out. That's the worst thing to do, I think. At least now I've got to lose twice. No, I've already lost one, so it's <laughs> basically in the same position as having one. got the one turn.
No, I never think about fouling. <laughs> but maybe I should have done. Maybe I should have done. I just realised too late that my uh, my runner wasn't over the line, right? So once my runner wasn't over the line, I couldn't score. I could. I needed four turns to score him over. Is what I decided. Gone the whole method. The double hole method. We've gone for the double hole method. It's only two D though, which is a bit shit. Looks like the crocs needed to be the one doing the blitz. Gets the push though. He's got no rerolls left. Four, oh, he gets the push. Maybe you should have already handed off to him. What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. So he could never have handed it off to him. So now he's got to get this guy in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dodge to there. And then he pushes him to there, and then he pushes him to here. So you can do the block first, so you can do this block first anyway. That's a power, so you don't have to make the dodge. Maybe I should have fouled the thrower on my drive right in the second half, I didn't think of it. Hmm. I did have a reserve. If there's a better setup than chevrons versus somebody with no re elves with no reroll, with dwarves that are so slow. I Maybe mean, I could have done some like kind of crazy grid, like a three wide one, and then like these all four wide, and well, then you just go straight through. Wouldn't you? So it's tough. Maybe I could have gone like uh, three, three, three back here, and then like two in the middle, and then have loads of stuff to react. But like letting him get caged down the sideline seems terrible. At least I could have slammed in and like made it hard. Maybe that would have been better. With so many players up, really fucking hard. I guess it could be a good replay analysis for how to have uh, won it.
a blot. That's only dwarves though. No, no in our here. No, NAF is just decided by who uh, who gets the most wins in normal time. Which makes dwarves worse, obviously. Because they just end up drawing or losing as they go for wins. Yeah, God, you get three and a half hours in a fucking normal game. If it was bloody, it went to overtime, it'd be like five hours. <laughs> Why is he glitching from there instead of here? Oh, that was the second hit. Okay. I'll let him off. So his blitz just gets more dwarves hit? That doesn't seem very good blitz, does it? I guess Necronome's pretty happy about that. Oh, not as we only pushes though. I'm going to get a cup of tea and uh, feel sorry for myself. Good evening, sports fans. How is everybody? We're watching a gripping match of lizards versus dwarfs. A full power. Oh, just a stun.
This mad lad's got two troll slayers. Deliver us from Blood Bowl Joy. Absolutely. <clears throat> I've just been out, walked the dog, appreciated the universe. Hello, Mr. Somniac. How's it going? Is this live? It feels live. It feels oh so live. Yeah. How are you, Bucky? Is he uh I can only oh there's a Saurus so he's missing a Saurus, isn't he? Ah it's KO'd. I can see it in the bottom corner. And what's he got? Three skinks, so he's on nine players, is he? Is that a guard Croxagor? Is that a guard dwarf in front of the Croxagor? Must be a guard dwarf in there. Oh, pal. Necronome just pretending to play Blood Bowl for another... What turn is it? Turn 10? <clears throat> I don't suppose we'll see that skink move forward until 13. Maybe later. He's got absolutely nothing to do except punch dwarves and try and not lose the Saurus. Big hit from the Crocs. No joy. He's got to tuck that skink. So the problem with lizards is they can't foul really, like because they don't have enough numbers. Oof. Double basing. Boom, 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 boom. Is he gonna foul? He's not, is he? He is. Rowdy. Rowdy Necronome. It's the stun, and there's... Oh, he's got a bribe! Excuse me, there's a bloody bribe kickoff event. Okay, it's, it's less bad now. So he fails the argue the call, and then he successfully bribes it. Of course. One foul, one bribe used. So how many dwarves is it? Is this 11 dwarves? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Yeah, he had a bench. And he's got a uh, bribe as well. He's got a good turn here where he can actually put the guards in all the places that they need to be. I'm surprised he didn't blitz with that dwarf on the floor. I guess he's trying to chain his troll slayer out. I don't know why. Oh, he could chain the Saurus forward and get a foul on it. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a free assist foul on the Saurus there. Yeah, I think I would have chained the Saurus forward and fouled it. But then I guess who are you going to foul it with? You've only got Mighty Blow. Can that beard get over? He has to geify that beard over to foul with the rookie. I think I would have chained the Saurus forward there and fouled it. Especially with the bribe. Obviously not without the bribe. Not completely mental. Man, these block dice. Someone check Necronome's block dice. He doesn't appear to have any powers on them whatsoever. He should have stood up this Saurus. Is he looking at a surf here? Maybe. Oh, hello, Jimrath. Hello, Jimrath. How's it going, mate? Oh, <coughs> wonderful. <laughs> Your stream was just briefly the most entertaining it's ever been. Ah, because you were on by yourself. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, maybe I should just fuck off and leave you to it. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Glorious. Glorious. We just watched the lizards pretend to play Blood Bowl. Nice. And uh, absolutely no interest in moving the ball forwards. <laughs> He's playing it annoyingly correctly. <laughs> and it's making for an absolute spectacle. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, this should be on like YouTube. You know like that brown noise that people listen to to go to sleep? <laughs> Like you should list it under brown noise, shouldn't you? Like this, this, this is like peak. 
peak sleeping uh, <laughs> content, isn't it? Really, is it that bad? Nah, I mean, it's like, I mean, Necronome's just not rolled a pal. He, he did one foul, like, he had the bribe, didn't he, except from the kickoff. He did one foul and, of course, stunned the Troll Slayer and used the bribe. No. Um, so, like, and then, like I say, he's just, he's not interested in... I said, I, I had a prediction that the Skink would not move forward until turn 13, and I thought that might be early. <laughs> so, that's that's the fun... You know, you got to make these little games with yourself to make the game interesting. So, yeah. like, that's my little... I, I'm going with the 13. The turn 13, we'll see the Skink move forward. Okay. That's what my prediction is. They got some funky animations, these Sauruses, as well. Did you just see him wave his arms around? Yeah, yeah, they have got the. They, they've always made Lizardmen pretty well, I think. In, in the <laughs> did you see? Um, did you see the dwarf celebrate when uh, when uh, Galentio scored earlier? No, I'd walked away. <laughs> oh my god, mate! Like there was like it was really weird. Like he did this weird like jumping like and like animation when he's got. Oh, seriously mm. injured. Only three <laughs> skinks left. Oh wow! Was that was this the KO that was KO'd in the first half? Uh, he's dead, Jim. Yeah, he's uh, dead KO'd. Yeah, that was a uh, maybe he should have appled in eh? Necrono. It's funny, isn't it? The That's first like, game. He basically got hit by Francis Ngannou, and he's like <laughs> he's still asleep three weeks later. <laughs> Proper KO'd that geezer. This is a bit tricky now for Necrono, isn't it? Uh, no, no. He just like he can block that. Dwarf, he can free the crocs, he can punch both of those dwarfs, he could blitz with the crocs and then just move up the other sideline. This is like the the problem you have with lizards is not bottling it and going too early, but like yeah, or leaving it too late and fucking yourself. But um yeah, this isn't this isn't too bad. Not fucking yet. Yourself. Anyway. Fucking yourself. Yeah. Uh, one what in nine. Oh spicy, do we re roll this? No we don't. Yeah. That wasn't the Crocs though, was it? Another one in nine. No, no, but like it was to clear the Honestly, Crocs. Honestly, Jim, he's, he's not rolled a power. He's not rolled a power since <laughs> I've been here. Another one in nine. Well, <laughs> Four one in nines. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> Necronome's the only person that I've ever seen hex skull. Wow. There's a clip on his channel of him hex skulled him. Wow. He is like potentially the most dice man in Blood Bowl. I guess you've got to put a ball, the ball over here and then away yeah, from him. Yeah, he's, so like he's got to run back. He's got to run here back. Here is where the ball needs to be. Here? You've been watching too much art. Here. Yeah, he, might blitz, he might blitz the crocs and then like use the crocs to screen off the troll slayer, but that's a lot. No, that's pretty negative as well. Might so fail, mightn't it? So just, just come back. I, I think he could like pretty much sideline cage with all three of these, but just out of range of the beard at the top. Hmm. No, I don't hate that. Yeah, I guess I guess that'd be okay. Yeah, you could just sideline cage here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. cross blitzers and tags. Because you don't, you, you don't want to go. You still got a sideline cage. Yeah. You don't want to go. You don't want to go too far backwards because, like, he wants to move forward on turn thirteen, like. Hmm. Apparently, maybe that's, that's what you've what? decided. I mean, I, well, you want to be on the halfway line on thirteen, and then, and then, like, if you have an iffy turn, you, you've got a turn of uh, what's it called? What's it called? You know, like a, a bank. You got like you got to turn to mess Buffer. something up. Yeah, yeah. You got like you got to turn that everything can go wrong and it, you still win range and all that mm. sort of thing. Because if you leave it too late and you have a horrendous turn, then you you get caught out and you you don't make it there. Oh wow! We're we're trying to nail the uh, Slayer. What? Not what I was. Ball done. carrier. Yeah. This is madness. Not nice. what I would have done, but who could say if it's good or bad? Well, he, he the obviously source, he, he looks at the. Uh... Oh, I understand. Don't try to do GFIs. He uh, he looked at his dice log and was like, "Well, this must be a power because it's been <laughs> yeah. 74 dice since I last rolled one, so it's, yeah. it's statistically impossible for me not to power here." I kind of hate the second GFI there. I think he was better there. Like he's not, he didn't go back to get away from him. So he can still he can still get based by him. So I think do another one so you just back. But, yeah. Uh, Wade didn't do anything right. Even if he powers him one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. So the, the second GFI didn't do anything unless he was going to go back. Yeah. 
Well, next turn's the big one. Next turn's the big prediction turn, so. Yeah, turn 13. Yeah. The Unlucky for some. <laughs> Unlucky for some. <laughs> the dim clock. It's like when I play Skaven, I'm just sat there going, oh, can't go forward, can't go forward, <laughs> can't go forward, can't go forward. And then it's just like, and then it's like, oh my god, it's just wide open. Like, it's like, no, no. Mm. It will be this easy in six turns' time, just chill out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just insane. It's like, you know, like passing your test in, like, I don't know, a really old slow car, like a, a Nissan Micro or something. <laughs> and then, like, your first car being a Ferrari. That's that's what it's like playing, like, playing, like, hundreds of games of Imperial Nobility and Undead. And then suddenly playing Skaven. It's like someone's just given me a Ferrari. Yeah. And it's just like, oh my god. This team actually works. What? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Is there? There's not many Skaven in this tournament, is there? To be fair. No, I think there's Chunter and Olivier Dulac. And I think Rats are maybe one of the best races in this because they are phenomenal at one turn in. Mm. If they survive, I guess that's a big if for it. But I, I, I'm actually quite surprised. As a, I mean, we could almost say lack of Skaven. Yeah. This, this, yeah, this boy's done well here, and he's uh, <clears throat> he's caused some problems for Necronome. Well, the stun on that Saurus is horrendous for Necronome. Horrendous. It is. I mean, to be fair, like he's got the dodge off the Troll Slayer, which is a one in nine, obviously, which gives him the two D Blitz out on that Saurus, and then he can he can actually. He needs the power though. Is that a 2D? He's got two assists. Well, the Crocs will have to hit as well and follow to cancel that assist. So he's got a 1 in 9 dodge, and he's got a crocs hit, which is 1 in 6, 1 in 9, and then he's got the blitz out with the saurus, which kind of has to power so he can run it forward. And then that skink goes up the sideline, I think. It's, uh... I think I think you were right last turn about the, uh, the sideline cage looking better than. Yeah, because it. Did. Like, yeah, this exactly. It's pretty fucked, isn't it? It is it's fixable, but it's. Um... He's got to roll dice, and I like you and I, I mean, I've seen you roll dice, and I've definitely rolled dice myself. <laughs> and I can't, I can't recommend it. <laughs> I can't no. recommend it. Croxagor gets the push. That's all he had to do. If he's going for this, if he's going for this, he might even just blitz that other Saurus free, and then bring the Saurus across, and then 2D, but then use yeah, the skink as the screen. Because it gives safe. you more players for the following turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and the safe. thing is, is then, then you don't necessarily need the power on this other Saurus. But yeah. it's still positionally iffy. It is. It is. But I think that's the play. Yeah. Ooh. He hasn't won in nine, does he? Nobody's moved in there. Which is interesting, uh, isn't it? It's Not super interesting. Who can see if it's good or bad? That is shocking. Sorry. Yeah, it's not. It's not good, is it? That is utterly shocking. In fact, uh... oh, the Crocs is. Oh no, the Crocs doesn't have guard, does it? It's the dwarf behind the Crocs. That no, has the guard, Crocs has it? guard. That's how it's Oh, 2D. okay. That's how okay. Oh, so yeah, it's not as bad. It's really it's fucking like... bad. He just two Ds him, and then he hits the ball with tackle. It's uh, really yeah. fucking bad. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, of course he does, yeah. Yeah, it's really fucking bad. Yeah, it's oh. really bad for Necronom. I mean, I don't know why he's there. I know, like, why he's in that row, as in, if he gets powered, then it doesn't go into the crowd. But I think there are exceptions to that rule, right? It's yeah, I think he had to, um, I think he had to go back and then he could have made this block. With a skink assisting. Yeah, and, this and is what I thought stuff. he was doing. That's mm. what I thought he was doing. I mean, to be fair, the way I saw it, like, he could have had a screen on this sideline. And, and that Saurus, the way I was going to do it, if the Saurus powered, he would have been screened in front as well as yeah. behind. But I would have been leaving my, I would have been leaving my Saurus behind 100%, but like, you know, in a foot race, I, none of his team are going to keep up with King, right? Correct. See, this is actually the push here is good. I mean, obviously. Ooh, we should have followed there. Should have followed. 
should have followed, then he could have freed his uh, blitzer, his runner easily. He's runner, that's what I was saying. Like this is, a, yeah. But he's powered the ball anyway. It's probably over. Probably over for old Necronome. Not yet. Nah, it's pretty over. Not yet. He's he's like, he's done a GFI for some reason. Mm. Have to base the ball in it. It's not over, but it's pretty fucking glorious. Close over. No, oh, no, I won't free that Saurus, and then all he needs is 4 plus 4. Like, free 4 free, and, and that's defend. the away, mate. I will defend. Free 4 free? I've, I've had worse dice work, and I've had better dice not work. Yeah. Thank you very much, Maka1970. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Maka? Maka? Mm. Hello, Maka. Maka. Oh, maybe he can uh, create a new Blood Bowl strategy and we can have the Daka and Maka. Imagine that. And it's like, should we Daka? No, I'm going to do the Maka. <laughs> <laughs> God. Um, it's a good question. Winners, I think, Elliot, because Hiru's dwarves. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, uh, Hiru, Hiru. I think we've done, but I think we did Hiru's first game and and Necro's first game actually. Hiru's Hiru Metsio, right? Ratakam yeah. Pera, right? Yeah, yeah. He had like three accounts on Blood Bowl, so he finally <laughs> set, he finally settled on Hiru, did he? I think so. Yeah. He's quite an animated character, isn't he? From, uh... He was in the he was in the Naf Champs thing. Oh, quad skulls! Now we can say it's over. <laughs> Oh my god, quad skulls in the stun. Yeah, Necronomes rolled horrendously. Ah, Keandre, yeah. Keandre had imp knobs, didn't he? Imp knobs. Got shit on by dwarves. <coughs> yeah, um, I mean, it's not the best matchup, to be fair. Yeah. How many guard have you got, Keandre? If it's not six, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, I did prefer I did prefer Chris's build to be honest. Nobs or gobs. Nobs. Yeah. I'm I'm like the biggest fan of nobs going, like, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Blood ball, mate. It's just nothing better. You heard it here <laughs> first, everyone. It's, it's why I get on so well with Jimmy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! He's a massive fan. <laughs> Honestly, knobs are just the best. <laughs> really like, not. I, I, I'm so gut. Like, do you know what? Like, I've just bought. I, I'm such an idiot, Jim. I bought. <laughs> I've bought a knob team and a black orc team separately, and I could have just bought <laughs> the bloody 2020 box set for 95 quid. Well done. But I, I already had a rule book, so I bought the rule book individually. I bought the team individually, <laughs> and I, I bought. Well, I never, I never knew I was gonna love knobs as much as I did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as you say, it's pretty obvious that you'd look, you'd like nonsense. Yeah. yeah. And then my brother got me a voucher for Christmas, so, like, I had a load of money to spend only in Games Workshop as well. It wasn't. It? And then, uh, and then I really like Blackhawks. Blackhawks are really fun to play, so I thought I'd buy a Blackhawk team. Yeah. <clears throat> I was only going to buy teams that I play. Go on. Yeah, he's finally got it sorted, hasn't he? So he's got the runner through now with a sure hand, and that is yeah. that is pretty much it. Don't say it's over, but yeah, this is this is done. It's, it's over. Done. Stick a fork in him. He's done. Just in time to do Devo and Arian as well. Glorious. Discreet packaging. Uh. Yeah, they do actually. They do. It's quite. Fu oh, it's so funny as well. Like my postman delivered it the other day, and I, I said to him, "Oh, I've been naughty." Like, and then he like looked at me like really strange. And obviously, I meant I've bought a load of plastic, like like little minis and all that. And like, and then like I didn't ever. I I couldn't explain. I couldn't tell him what it was. Right. So then like he just looked at me funny, and I went, "Oh, I've been a bit naughty." And then I took the box and shut the door. And then I was thinking, like, God knows what he thinks that is in that parcel. It's <laughs> amazing. But like, you know, I just said it, right? I just said it, and then like, obviously, could not admit to being like a games workshop nerd. Like, and I've just bought a load of little plastic toys. Have I? So it's. <laughs> I couldn't say it's a load of plastic little toys either, could I? Because that sounds even worse. Like, it's just... yeah. 
Brilliant. I mean, I don't know if it sounds worse than I've been naughty. <laughs> and then running away. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I did. I was like, but I'm always like really excited when I get stuff. Because you, know, like, you have to wait a while. Like my my delivery is like 11 days. This one from GW. Still haven't got it yet. But I'll be well excited when it comes. So. Mm. You should have said, "Oh yes, a big bag of plastic knobs." <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't fall, shouldn't he? Have, should he have fallen? I mean, it doesn't matter now. He's fucked, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, it's just it's because he's got a counter score as well. Like here is one nil up, so he's got a counter score now, Necronome. So like this skink has to just run up now. This skink has to run at scoring range because he's losing yeah. one nil. So and Hero doesn't even have to do anything except just blitz that skink and cage the ball and stuff. Like it's it's absolutely fucked. Yeah, Necro had horrendous dice this time. He did, yeah, yeah, he did. But that turn, that turn in particular, where he ran the skin cup and... Uh... Yeah, he could have done things, couldn't he? I mean, he should have, he should have appled this KO now in retrospect, right? But again, last game he did the, he, he did KO, he did apple the KO and then he instantly got a Kaz, I think. So this time he didn't apple it and then... Yeah. He's been out for the whole game, so it's fucking tough. Tough calls the problem, using the problem, apple. Yeah, the problem waiting for the Apo is like... if. If it's a serious injury, you really don't want to apo it, right? Because it's so unlikely to come. Is it like a one in three to come back? Uh, Thirty-seven and a half percent. Yeah, so just slightly better than one in three, which is garbage. And only slightly worse than one in two, which is you know, like it's three out of eight, so it's it's one away from yeah. four out of eight or three out of nine. So, yeah. but it's not a hundred percent, which badly hurt is right? Exactly. Or a KO. Yeah. So the the turn two KO looked really tempting to apo. But yeah. I not appoing it as well. It's a tough, tough choice. But you know, he's finished the game there, and he's he's did not the, out. Um, did the bribe happen uh, on the first kickoff or on the second one? Because that's the other thing as well. If they KO it and then you appo it and then they foul it, then that's horrendous. Yeah, like... yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, I don't know when they. Got yeah. the, I don't know when they got the bribes. I wasn't paying the most amount of attention, as you can imagine. <laughs> no, surely not, Jim. Imagine paying attention to a game that you're casting. I would never. There are a lot of lizards, aren't they? What was the most popular team? Was it lizards? The yeah, most lizards. popular? Yeah. Eleven lizards. Eleven lizards. Yeah. I get it. I get it. So now, you know, I'm probably going to get lizards in the next round and lose and go out. I was so happy hmm. to have got Underworld and Pro Elves. And you know, should have been two, two and all really. So, but you know, like you can't win them all, can you? And it was. What was old Olivier's uh, rap build? I, I didn't even look at it. <laughs> uh... Like I mean, I did do the thing, but I don't remember. It wasn't, it wasn't anything exciting. Just standard. Just standard spend. bullshit. Well, I guess. Rats are the best one. Well, I guess you got Underworld as well. I guess Underworld one turns better than the Skaven one turns. Is, you get yeah. two heads, two heads sidestep and snotlings to fill gaps. So yeah, so I guess yeah, you just why play anything else other than Underworld? I guess yeah. Disgusting. I mean, you do have multiple, multiple uh, gutters. That's the that's the thing going for rats. Multiple. Isn't it? Because if you want gutter, Mate, you get to Daka every game as well. Like you literally get to Daka every game. There's no matchup where the Daka is just not correct with rats, is there? I can't think. Like it, the rats with the rat ogre on the Daka. Like I mean, it's just total blood bowl, right? It's just it's life doesn't get any. Life doesn't get any better. It doesn't. Correct. So unless unless it's unless you got knobs, right? Yeah, I mean obviously life is better six, with knobs. Six guard knobs as well. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. One in nine, anyone? <laughs> yeah, oh, no, on. that was a pretty, that was a pretty brutal game, wasn't it? Dice wise. Um, Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> one in four for the uh, KO coming back as well, wasn't it? Okay, like your neighbour probably thinks they live next door to Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't. I wasn't very happy either in my game, but there you go. It's what it is. Yeah. Um, oh, he's cooking again. Now that's now I could get Necronome in the next round. Ugh. 
So there you go. Congratulations to Hiru. Uh, dwarves through with uh, two wins. I don't understand. Two. Yeah, so you're telling me that if you win one and lose one, you are going to play someone who's won two, or what? Um, I'll, I'll explain for everybody watching at the end of this video. Yeah, I'll do it again. So half the people have won one, right? And now we've got a quarter of the people have won two. The people who've won two games will have a break until January. And then the other people Ooh. will all play it until they've won two and lost one. And then so there'll be 14 people who've won two and lost none. And there'll be 14 people who've won two and lost one. And then the 14 people who've won two will play the 14 people who've two, won two and lost one. And then the uh... winners of those will go through. So some people will have qualified with three wins and one loss. And some people will have not qualified with two wins and one loss. So like uh, they just they won't get the second chance. That's the... Uh, that's the thing with the, but you know they had to play less blood ball, so you know they, they're winners in that regard. Um, so yeah, congratulations to Hiro who goes through to the, uh, you know, goes through the January thing, the finals as it were, and Necronome will get a second chance. And thank you very much, Dimmy, for coming in. Be glorious having you in the booth as always. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was better, better when you weren't here, Jim. Wee. Thanks, and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.